Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is the 4th of February, and it is a Thursday here in the States, or this is for the 5th of February and uh, Friday in Australia and New Zealand. So today, uh, the moon continues to move through Scorpio. Scorpio, of course, the deep feeling, Scorpio, the detective, Scorpio, the bottom line, the bottom line, the Scorpio moon does make an opposition to Mars in uh, Taurus. And so we can become aware of some issues. We can come, become aware of some of our essential needs and perhaps some anger uh, around not getting our uh, essential needs met. We could, we could experience that today. Uh, but it's more about an awareness for that. So today we have a last quarter moon, moon in Scorpio, the sun in um, Aquarius. Last quarter moons are crisis in consciousness. We're dealing with uh, our relationship to uh, authority, both authorities outside of ourselves and our own inner authority. Um, it's kind of about, you know, sort of taking the reins of your life, taking responsibility for yourself, uh, not depending on uh, those, uh, in quotes, in charge, to fix all your problems, but to kind of be proactive about it. This last quarter square is the cusp of the 10th house in a natural chart, and that's the Capricorn house. And it's in Capricorn that we, you know, put on our big girl and big boy pants and we start taking responsibility for ourselves. And we start to manifest the life that we choose instead of feeling like we're at the mercy of something outside of ourselves. This is actually uh, part of the lunation cycle that began with that new moon in, um, in uh, Capricorn, conjunct, um, conjunct Pluto. In the US, it was right at the bottom of the chart. It happened at midnight. The clock struck midnight and all the power shifted. And we can actually see that uh, in the political landscape. Um, most prominently, actually, in the Republican Party, which is interesting. Um, we have this green woman, right, uh, who's, you know, just an a ambitious, crazy person who most likely doesn't believe any of the things that she says she believes in, but she finds them, um, or maybe she is a true believer. It's possible. I haven't looked at her chart. Probably should do that before I make a prognostication about this woman. But what I do know is that she is prodding the Republican Party to figure out who they are. They have been the party of the obstructionist for years now, and a lot of the dissatisfaction that people are feeling is actually uh, directly connected to um, the obstruction, struck obstructionalism of the Republican Party, even all the 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 Democratic, uh, you know, people saying the Democrats didn't do this and the Democrats didn't do that and the Democrats never do anything, um, they really haven't had the power. Quite frankly, they've done really their best with what they've had. Of course, they haven't made all good decisions, but you know, hey, they could have let Bernie win. <laughs> well, that was 2016, right? And maybe we wouldn't have had the Trump fiasco. But um, we had it and we needed it because we weren't going to get there otherwise. Just like the Republicans now need this green lady to realign them. And so if we can look at the challenges as opportunities for realignment and opportunities to decide where we're going to take our ship, then do it. <laughs> That's the bottom line. The bottom line is that we're here to do something. We're here to live. We're here to experience. Everybody's path is a little bit different, but to fully commit to that is a big step. And um, it's a step worth taking. We do have a new moon coming up, of course, because we're at the last quarter. So another seven days, is it seven? Yeah, 11 on the 11th. We're going to have a new moon in Aquarius, and there's a lot of planets in Aquarius. 
it's kind of setting us up for the next 20 years on a certain level because of the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn and Aquarius. So this full moon, this new moon that's coming up on the 11th is very, very important. And we have a Mercury retrograde at this time in Aquarius. So it's really a good time to ponder, you know, what, you're, what you want your world to look like. You know, what kind of society do you want to have? Do you want to have the elites making all the rules? Or do you want something more egalitarian? We have the capacity, we have the will, and we have the power to make that happen. So take this time, let go of any, you know, uh, need perhaps to let go of the shoulda, coulda, wouldas um, and move into the loves. I should do that. I could do that. I ought to do that. No, I would love to do that. Try that. Try that on for size. Figure out what it is that you love and start saying, I would love to do that. Do you want to be an author? I would love to write my book. I would love to, to do lectures. I would love to teach. I would love to learn healing. I would love to. Whatever it is, love it. Focus on it. Forget about all these morons out there with their crazy conspiracy theories. I shouldn't probably call them morons, right? That's very judgmental of me. Um, people are looking for more than anything else. They're looking for belonging. They're looking for belonging, but we belong to ourselves. And ultimately we have to focus and figure out what it is and who we are and go from there and go from there. You know, astrology is a great tool for self-knowledge. If you've ever wanted to have an astrology reading, contact me, right? Have you had it done? I mean, a lot of people see me every day. A lot of people listen to me every day. What's your chart look like? And I know a lot of you have already done it. So, and, and it's not, I'm not forcing you guys because I know sometimes it's a financial issue. It's a financial issue. But, you know, start thinking about it. Start thinking about how you can best uh, utilize your talents and abilities to get what you want out of life. Or, or to just live a, a more full life, right? A more full life. Self-knowledge is, is the, the tool. It is on the, uh, it is on the uh, portal to the uh, Oracle of Delphi. Know thyself. Know thyself. And you will know God. All right, guys. Much love. Have a great day. Michael and I are going to the Cape today to do a little shopping. And if I can get some... Um, some uh, nice, you know, um, if we have the time, you know, because we always have to like rush back for my mother. Uh, although she does have her girls coming today, so that, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, but if I can get some nice scenery in for you guys, I will, because I know you like tooling around with me as well. I just don't get out that often, so. <laughs> but you, you swear to me you love the, the garden, even in its fallow period, so. We, I certainly love you guys, so take care, have a great day, and uh, do what you love and love what you do, and you won't work a day in your life.